Now go to Mass and pray and confess your sins, and you'll have all the luck, his mother said. He listened to the lie that is a woman's screen around a conscious when soft thighs are spread. And all the while she was setting up the lie, she trusted in nature that never deceives. But her son took it as literal truth. Religion's walls expand to the push of nature. Morality yields to sense, but not in little tillage fields. Life went on like that. One summer morning, again through a hayfield, on her way to the shop, the grass was wet and overleaned the path, and Agnes held her skirts sensationally up. And not because the grass was wet either. A man was watching her. Patrick Maguire. She was in love with passion and its weakness, and the wet grass could never cool the fire that radiated from her unwanted womb in that country, in that metaphysical land where flesh was a thought more spiritual than music, among the stars, out of reach of the peasant's hand. Ah, but the priest was one of the people too, a farmer's son, and surely he knew the needs of a brother and sister. Religion could not be a counter-irritant like a blister, but the certain standard measured and known by which man might remake his soul, though all walls were down and all earth's pedestaled gods thrown.